Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. Today I'm going to talk about something I see a lot in uh, videos that get sent, to, or not videos, but replays that get sent to me as part of our application process. And a lot of it is something that I keep pointing out to people that uh, when they do end up getting commas back, it is that they need to work on their accuracy and their aim. I mean, now a lot of people are pretty good at aiming. Uh, there's no lie around it. It works. No one has any arguments. As I try and... There we go. So, a nice little feature that I just did, Caps Lock Zero, brings up the server-side aiming reticle. I wanted to make sure it worked real quick before I started talking about it, so let's take it off. There we go. So, first things first. People have, uh, it's, I'll put it to you this way, your accuracy in the low levels is going to be pretty, um, pretty difficult to manage because of the simple fact that you're firing... Usually your tiers 1s, 2s, and sometimes even 3s have auto cannons, so they're bursting out, you know, 4 or 5 rounds at a time, whereas in your higher tiers you're getting your 1 round per mouse click, and that's how you can easily control your accuracy. So something to be aware of is that, yeah, not always is your accuracy going to be spot on because of that, but you can obviously improve your accuracy over time. I somehow managed to maintain about a 70 to 75 percent accuracy. I'd have to go and look to be exact. I'm not completely sure, but I do maintain a pretty heavy accuracy, and that comes from taking time, placing my shots, leading my shots, and I almost always, and I notice a lot of people didn't do this in some of my, uh, the replays I get for my application, is that a lot of people do not zoom in. They'll fire from the hip like this, like in uh, other shooters, where you just pull down the trigger, you don't bother aiming down the sights. I almost always ADS, or aim down the sights. It just allows me that split second to make any fine little tweaking adjustments I need to make. And it also allows me to just maneuver into weak spots, whereas if I'm shooting here at uh, the standard, you know, just the o over the top of the shoulder here, I can't aim at those weak spots very well. Let alone the fact that sometimes what I'm seeing on this screen is not the same as what I'm seeing here. Because up here, I'm seeing at a different angle, sometimes I can see tanks, or highlight tanks rather, whereas they're not actually valid targets because I zoom in and they're like just below the ledge. So those are small things to keep in mind. Definitely important things that will affect your accuracy as we are slowly losing here. So we have a 59 dead ahead. And I need to aim at him very carefully, because as you saw there, I could see him behind the rock, but when I went to zoom in, he was actually there. So I'm going to get around behind him, take a shot at him. I always even aim in when it's that close, because I want that hit to go through no matter what. I don't want to have like my gun accidentally be looking at that rock, or looking at the wrong spot on the tank. I want to be looking dead at a weak spot where I know I'm going to penetrate. That isn't good. Getting hit by artillery already. So, with that said, every little bit of accuracy helps. I mean, and those fine little tweak adjustments I make when aiming with the tank is definitely what kind of sets you apart from just shooting at the hip and what gives me such a high accuracy. I've seen people with 50% accuracy, 40% accuracy. I've seen people with 60 and higher. It all really comes down to what you're willing to put into your amount of aim. If you have to take snapshots, I take a lot of snapshots and I get lucky. Snapshots, of course, being your ability to um, move like around a corner, swing your turret and fire and still hit as opposed to just kind of uh, take your time, let it zoom in. See, now I take a little bit longer than usual to actually let my shot zoom in or I won't necessarily call it a zoom in, but let my shot I'm going to go help out these tanks back here. They're going to need it. I let my shot wind in pretty much all the time because I want to make sure that that hit is going through and that I'm going to take out whatever I'm aiming at. This is probably a mistake that I'm coming around behind these tanks here, but I feel that if I do that, that'll resolve one flank. I don't even know if I'll get over that in time. Probably was not the best of ideas as we just lost our Ferdinand. Hmm. Well, anyway, continuing on with zooming. 
Now, the whole... Or aiming, rather. Sorry. The whole uh, point of aiming at, you know, just a tank in general does not really help you out. Because I can aim just point blank at a tank. Can't guarantee I'm going to go through anywhere or actually do any damage. But if I take that time and I look... Let me get up to a tank here. At this Tiger 2. Easy kill. Five hit points. Not a big deal. But looking at this, uh... Type... Or was this thing? T28 prototype? He's behind this cover. So I need to carefully move around here. Look at where I'm aiming. Go through with the shot and pull it off. If I were to just take the shot, there's a good chance I would have hit this dead tank already here. Or I would have possibly glanced off a piece of them and not known what I was aiming at. So one of the key things is that you obviously need to take your time, see what part of the tank you're aiming at. Because if I look at just playing down the... just like snap shooting at where does uh, AMX go? He's behind a rock. But let's just say I was shooting at him right here. He was in the open. I cannot guarantee I'm actually going to hit a part that I'm going to go through. Whereas if I zoom in all the way, there's a good chance I can place my shot exactly where I need it to be, hitting either the soft underbelly of a tank, hitting a fragile side, or going through where I know a module is, such as an ammo rack on a IS-4 or IS-7, because I know where those are, or going through an engine compartment for, let's say, the E-75 under the uh, Lord Glacius right down there, being able to cause it to either stop dead or catch on fire. So certain little tricks like that certainly make aiming a hundred times better than just shooting from the hip and possibly deflecting off of a tank, because I cannot guarantee, like shooting at this uh, 31P, I could hit a nice slope part of armor, it'll just go right off him and uh, be kind of a useless shot. So that's, uh, especially here, as I'm going to have to range in on this uh, T28 standard, is I'm going to have to really place my shot, because I don't know necessarily where he's going to be facing. That tank just leveled those trees. Probably a bad idea to stop. Because the artillery's gonna range in on me and just light me up. Alright, so look, I can actually penetrate certain parts if I take my time. Perfect shot. Oh, they still have a uh, T30 left. That's that's very promising. <laughs> The, the destroyer cannon especially I could actually speak to that because aiming with such a long rate of fire cannon as the uh, world destroyer that that thing has with the upwards of 20 30 second reload depending on what your crew is trained to can be pretty low if you actually get your crew trained all the way up have vents and everything else but certain stuff like that makes all the world of difference in your tank because who's to say that, you know, your, your one shot is so needed that if you miss, you are done. <laughs> you will have tanks swarming you, and you'll just be uh, not enough time to do anything about it. Whereas seeing here, I gotta aim in, take my time, because I missed. If I would let it go, or I really couldn't have guessed that anyone had I tried. But had I uh, just shot regularly on the move, very rough chance I'd even get close to hitting. It would have just been a complete, for lack of better terms, shot in the dark as to if I were to hit him or not. But taking that quick second to aim, to zoom in, I'm able to definitely line my shot up exactly where I need it to be, adjust for any sort of little bit of terrain, or take care of any sort of big issues such as um, aiming at the wrong part of a tank. And this T-30 is going to cause me some issues. So hopefully I can get up here. Alright, there's a GW Panther. See, now I can see him. Uh, I had to aim in to make sure that my shot was going to land. Perfect. I can take my time, get up here, maybe take a shot or two down at this uh, Type or T-30. Take my time. I don't want him aiming at me because that's obviously going to hurt a lot. See, now he's on a long reload, so if he were to have fired... Oh, no. oh, he's even ammo racked. So now his shots really matter. Because one miss, and that's... He has no other options. He's just out. Alright. If anyone splashes him, they'll kill him. I, on the other hand, am going to come and hide right here for the cap. 
So, certain important things such as the whole making sure your shots are lined up properly make all the world a difference. And of course, like there, I was able to skirt one in there, making sure I hit him, whereas there is no way I could have guaranteed on the move that I would have hit him. And yeah, while I do get lucky a lot of times with my shots on the move, I was actually pretty good at it. Just, it's a lot simpler to take your time, aim in, make sure that your shot's going to hit. Now this actually is kind of a dangerous game I'm playing right now. He could come up behind me, but I highly doubt it. Let's angle myself here. Get back just enough. Hopefully that M12 spots him. Or at least shotguns him. Come on. Where, oh, where is that T30 go? Ah, oh, there he is. Nice safe spot. See, now he probably has close to a 30 second reload if he does not have the uh, his ammo rack repaired. Now I can take the shot at him. There we go. And see, I capped and killed the last guy. So, I got Invader on top of all those kills, all these damages, because I took my time and aimed. So, let's move on to another tank, and I'll show you guys the server-side crosshairs people keep yelling at me to use. So, talking of aiming, I'm going to actually bring something up here that a lot of people keep telling me I should use, even though I already know about it, and I typically don't, because my ping is usually low enough, it doesn't matter. But, caps lock plus zero gets me the server side reticle here. If you hold down caps lock and hit zero on your uh, number bar up top, you'll get the, what I have here is set up as aqua. Just the uh, little aiming reticle that kind of trails where I'm aiming. That's because that's the server trying to catch up to where I'm actually pointing with my tank. And so it's kind of doing a little bit of delayed action there. But it's also showing me correctly where the server thinks I'm aiming. So it's actually very useful because it uh, gives me the exact location I need. That way it's no longer a guessing game. And just the general pinpoint accuracy I need. You generally want to bring it up for any tanks that need super accurate aiming, such as using a fast tank on the move, such as an AMX, a tank that needs very high accuracy because of its uh, penetration, such as the AMX M4, or if you're using anything such as, I don't know, any sort of city fight, where you need to make sure that you're, when you're popping around these corners, the server's actually caught up to where you're aiming, and not just uh, the, oof, that was close, and not just having the server not know necessarily where you're aiming at and kind of, kind of doing some guesswork. Now let's see if I can sneak a shot in. No, I do not have a target there. So, do I have a nice juicy target there? Yes, I do. Directed. Nice I was just kind of cruised in. And you see it's a little more accurate. The center of that X is a little more dead on than mine. Now, there's no saying it doesn't have a little bit of travel here and there just to, uh, make up for the random number generator, but it's certainly a lot better than as I was to just be uh, pointing at it, running and gunning, hoping for the best. Let's try and cruise into town a bit here. Take advantage of some of this cover. Now I always aim in whenever I'm going to be shooting. I mean it just makes the world a difference that actually zoom in just enough. I mean, I'll zoom in using the shift key. That is my instant bring up the sights sort of thing. And then I'll fine tune it with my mouse wheel as needed. And I mean, that, you have to. There's obviously no way I can shoot from here and hit this KV-3. But zooming in all the way, yeah, I can. I can even stop on a dime if needed to take care of it. So I can see here, just a little bit I need to run up here, tackle him real quick, oh uh, boo, see now I was close enough there that I didn't need to run up there with the um, full, or zoom in any, because I knew it was generally right there, now this Hummel, or these tanks, these SPGs are going to cause me some trouble here. So let's try and take care of them real quick first. 
so then I won't have to do that. Alright, now I can focus on this. Little T20 here. Try and get behind some cover. Have him shoot his own T8. And you see, I'm actually, even though I'm this close, I can just pop around like that and fire. It's much easier to zoom in. Take my time. Line it up. Take the shot. That way I'm not having to deal with it at all. I don't have many problems. I don't have to worry about that one errant miss when I need to hit. Because that's one of the just big things is if you miss when you need to be aiming dead on like that. Had I not aimed and just shot, I might have missed and then he would have been able to return fire and definitely taken out my tank. Because those S-51s hurt a lot. So, instead, I was able to zoom in there, take him out, and of course, like I said, using the server side, I'm able to tell exactly where my shot's going to be. Well, not necessarily within... I mean, obviously, you have the random number generator determining where in that circle it's going to go. But, I mean, it's not like I'm over here trying to snap to something I shoot and I end up way behind it. it. Makes quite a bit of difference. So, as I go in here to cap real quick, I will end on the note of the fact that aiming is all... <laughs> you, you just... It's something that you need to practice. I have such a very high accuracy because I take my time. I make sure that what I'm shooting at I'm going to hit. I do not snapshot nearly as much as I used to, and especially in low tiers. There's not much you can do to change your accuracy there. You kind of just hope for the best. I mean, I obviously I zoom in quite a lot when I don't need to. I could back it out like right to there if I wanted to. I mean, that's your difference when I tab in. But I, I do like zooming all the way in, making sure I know exactly where I'm going to hit. Always aim for weak spots usually the lower part of the tank, a flat surface, crew hatches, anything like that, or even looking up, I don't, as you can tell, I don't use any sort of a, um, a skin to tell me where the weak spots are, but you can look them up. You can generally tell where they are, or just follow what everyone else recommends. But anyway, aiming is kind of key, and that's one thing I want to talk about, because I got a lot of videos, or not videos, but a lot of um, replays in, when people apply to the clan and my number one thing I always recommend to them is work on your accuracy build that up it shows that you're a strong player that you're able to learn that you're able to put shots on target while you may not be doing damage shots on target do a lot in terms of scaring people off just could potentially damage uh, modules you never know but anyway work on your accuracy everybody get it up it's a very important thing I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of my let's play I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.